Okay, so usually when you, well, uh, for many people at least, when you install a new piece of software, a new applic web application, say like WordPress or Drupal, the instructions tell you to download the zip file, unzip all the files, then upload all those files via FTP. Luckily, we can use Secure, Secure Shell to take a little bit of a shortcut there, and it'll go a bit faster. So I'm in Secure Shell. I'm going to use something called Wooget, which is a way of, um, well, it's a way of, of doing web stuff. Um, via the command line. Uh, in this case, I'm pasting the URL for the download URL. It's a little hard to find on this particular one for a version or an installation profile of uh, Drupal called Drupal Commons. So I've basically copied and pasted that URL right here. We'll get, we'll then go out and get that URL for me. Um, sometimes it depends on how fast your home connection is, but often this will happen more quickly than it would be from downloading from the web because, in fact, I'm not downloading this to my local computer at all. I'm actually transferring the file from one server to another server, and both those servers have a pretty strong connection to the internet, so it goes pretty quickly to download it. Now that I've downloaded it, I'm going to use a command called tar. Tar is to... Um, uh, is to create and to extract tape archives. And um, tape archives are, if you'll remember back to the 1970s, you might have seen pictures of those big reel-to-reel -reel tapes on mainframe computers. That's how you did backups. That's how you stored material. People don't really use tape archives that much anymore, don't use uh, tape to, to do uh, backups. They usually use hard drives, but it retains that old terminology, tar. ZXVF in this case says to unzip it because this is a this is called a tarball. That's how we we refer to a file that's been um, compressed this way. And you can see the .tar.gz means that it's been created into a tarball and then also zipped. And so Z will get rid of that, X will extract it, V will, ver will tell us more about what it's doing when it's extracting it, and F will create um, folders or, or, or some of the file structure for it. So um, we now need to tell it what to extract. Commons, oops, .6.x. Um, 1.6.tar.gz and all it's doing there is it's actually extracting all of those files and uh, once it's done I'm going to do a command you normally would not do which is rmrf which is a very kind of dangerous thing to do what it does is it deletes something completely and and if you're not careful about telling it what to delete it can delete um, everything. <laughs> so that's why it's dangerous. But in this case I want to get rid of a particular folder that we remember might exist and then I'm going to use the CP or copy command to, well, now you'll see it's it's extracted all of these things into a directory called Drupal Commons. So if I do a, an ls you'll see that I have um, the, here's the Drupal Commons tarball which was a big tarball, and here's the new directory that it extracted everything into. But I want to copy, actually I want to M, I could do CP, which would be to copy, but in this case I'm going to do MV, which is to move everything that's in Drupal Commons into dev.aoir.org, that is into my web root. And now if I go into dev.aoir.org, you will see it has all of the files that I just extracted from that tarball. And then I can continue and finish um, installing this piece of software now that all the files are where they belong.